Good morning. Yeah, it's the morning after the uh, England um, women's semi-final against America. And basically now we have two. We have a, both a male and female team that can break the hearts of the England football fans. Uh, <laughs> it's both of us, you know. I mean, I, 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 I held back from watching it because I'm basically um, watching England play football. It's, it's been really one of the hardest things I've ever had to do in my life actually it's, I mean it's oxymoronic really but um, now what's the, the women's play and America were the states the United States were um, obviously the better team on the night which you know England were good but the, the, the Americans were better and so I don't think we you know I mean losing the penalty and the goal disallowed well yeah but it made me think about because i've been reading about this morning about um transgender athletes and people being tra transphobe because they're, they're um they're um not sort of supporting transgender athletes um well how would it be if lionel messi decided to see himself as a woman could he start playing for the female spanish female team do you know what i mean I mean, <laughs> you could have a real bit of fun with that, couldn't you? Like, <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. Um, you know, you're not getting picked for the England side for the net your national side, so you decide to go transgender and get paid things so you can go and play for the women's football team. Yeah, so you have eleven transgender in the team, like you know, and they win the World Cup. Oh, wonder if that would put the pay. You know, you know, thing. thing. Transphobe, yay! <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> but yes yes i think i think that could be really quite good cheers